intrigued now. Where was this can of Pepsi made? Round one. Fight. Right, forget about that. We've got a fight. We've got we got Miss Demkel and Valerie versus Rook. I played a bunch of this matchup at the weekend actually. I was trying I was messing about with Val just for funsies. And I was up against um, a very strong Rook actually, PTRSD boy. And I did get some wins, so it's definitely um, not too bad once you figure it out as Val, but that's an incredible anti-air option from Janet on the green Rook. Oh, okay, baiting the super and still getting the grab. This time gets the jump over and another grab, so Janet absolutely in with the mix-ups there. And they already have the first match win, and now they're around a piece. Not getting much chance to eat, eat, my, uh, eat my cheese, though. And another big uh, big option there from Rook. This is looking like another Rook round. This is how it goes. Mm -hmm. But Valerie can come back very quickly as well. The damage that Valerie can do is absolutely no joke. Rook may have the, 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 the edge in terms of mix-ups. But in terms of sheer damage output, Valerie certainly wins it. Hmm. I've never played Janet's Rook. I say, Janet doesn't often play Rook. I'll probably look at uh, Janet's stats and find out they play Rook more than I've played any other character in the game. That's not unusual when it comes to these top players, to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a fantastic jump from Mr. Ankel there, avoiding the Earthquake. But, unfortunately, is now in the Rook Blender. Jump back disc. Oh, I thought Janet could have maybe countered that. Maybe Janet wanted her air super of her own there, but wasn't able to get it out in time. Landed, hit the ground super, but then just went, just fell for Valerie's trap. Can Mr. MKL finish this one off? Just needs one more round. Has two points of damage on board. Valerie, and then the back step, of course, very important against Rook, because he can answer the yellow in many, many, many ways. Often with that. All with super, of course, if he's got it. Rook's super, actually, very important for Valerie to pay attention to. Looks like Mr. Ankel now has the advantage there. Oh, that, that, that uh, cross stroke really could have been punished on landing from Rook, but Janet wasn't. I think she was already in another move, so couldn't quite punish it. Probably watch it on the replay and see what happened there when I get that one on YouTube, hopefully. Round one. So the decider. This is going all the way. Man, these, these uh, Valerie matches are hard to watch because they just go by in a lightning. Must admit... Valerie quite relaxing for me to play. <laughs> because you, you kind of get to ask the questions of your opponent a lot of the time with Valerie. Rather than having to come up with the answers. The way I like to see it, that the way Valerie tends to work. At high level, you do have to really know your stuff and really be paying attention still. Don't, don't get me wrong. Oh, fantastic. But often Valerie can take the initiative in a lot of matches, which kind of makes it kind of relaxing to play in a different, different kind of style. Oh, great two damage from Miss Gremkale. Really eking every point of damage you get out of Rook, which you really need to do. Every small opportunity. Another slightly miss mistake on the super there from Janet. Oh, and again, Mr. MKL is absolutely on point here, punishing every single um, option that Janet puts out with. I did not know Mr. MK was this strong, I have to say. I've not seen him play for a little while. <gasps> the whiff grab into C grab. Absolute rudity. Another rude move. I'm liking this style from Janet. Very, very, very nice. Got to wait the way you've got to do. Round four. Fight. Janet, good good uh, analysis there from Daniel. Yeah, the, the um, jump AA is tough for Rook to deal with. But I have seen Rooks deal with it. Guessing you have to guess with the jump in uh, windmill at some times. Jump in vines to make it more precise. Mm, I don't think Rook had an option there once that chromatic chord came out. It was too late. Good earthquake. Here's an option for Janet. But Mr. MKL gets the jump back cross stroke, which is exactly the correct answer there. Timing it correctly. That's the other interesting thing about Rook. Oh, actually, Mr. MKL's doing something tricksy here. Delaying their air second swipe very carefully. That's boot from Janet is another option, of course, that Rook's using. And Janet really going in, trying those... Uh, good block from Janet, though. Oh, again, guest. Mr. MKL looks like he's just got this one. And the Chromatic Orb does beat the landslide in that situation, yeah. Landslide can hit it if it hits it early enough. The Chromatic Orb 
quite a tricky one to use against Rook, actually. That was a very good, like, really high-level matchup, actually, showing how Janet, showing how, um, even up, even up against someone of the caliber of Janet, if you know what you're doing with with Valerie, a lot of people uh, really struggle um, as Valerie against Rook. Just showing you how it's done. <laughs>